Hi, this is question four on the GCSE Mathematics Stratified Sampling Practice Question Sheet. And you can download that from the link below in the description. OK, so uh, this particular question deals with um, stratified sampling for a, a sample of 50 competitors according to age group. All right, the main thing is, is that we need to work out firstly how many competitors there are all together. And sometimes this information is given to you. Sometimes you need to just calculate it yourself. And what this is telling me is there's 570 competitors in total. And then really, most of these stratified sampling questions tend to follow the same sort of pattern. What we're looking to do is to create a fraction. In this case, if we're looking for the 16 to 18, 18 age group, it's going to be 120 out of the 570 in total of the competitors, and that's the fraction that we're going to be looking at stratifying, which is of 50 that we've actually got within our sample. Now, if you pop that into a calculator, you're going to get 10.53, and therefore that's going to be fairly close to 11. Now, sometimes, as I think it is with this particular question, is you need to just change these numbers slightly just to make sure that they all add up appropriately, because if we look at the next two, we've got in the... 19 to 24 age group. Now, if you can't see this on the screen now, it might be useful to go to the website and download the question and just have a look at it and work through it as I'm working through it. I've got 250 out of 570 multiplied by 50 again, and that's going to give me 21.93, which is 22. OK, last one is going to be in the 25 plus age group. And that's going to be 200 out of 570 multiplied by 50. And that's going to give me 17.54, which is equivalent more or less to 18. OK, now we've only got 50 competitors in the sample group. And if you spot that 18 plus 22 plus 11 is actually 51, we need to reduce one of these categories by one. It doesn't matter which one particularly. Um, I'm going to reduce the final one. So the 16 to 18 age group, I'll leave as 11. 19 to 24, I'll leave as 22. But the last group, I'm going to reduce now down to 17 rather than the 18 I calculated. Um, I hope that's OK. I'm going to go on to, I think, question seven. Um, please do have a look at the website and you'll be able to download the full worked answers for this whole question paper. I look forward to seeing you inside the next video.